Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is, of course, reviewing my collection. Um, the first one I did, band made, brand new album really. This one, almost brand new as well. This is... Bok Nagar, True North. There you are, finish the review. Um, I received this uh, for, as a Christmas present. This would have been in my top 10 for 2019 if I'd listened to it properly, or at all, all the way through uh, in 2019. Didn't. Didn't really, uh, you know, you got it for Christmas. Then straight away it's pretty much Christmas! Family! 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 Oh, God! Go away! And then eventually they did. And eventually we did because we went over and came back and it was like, yay, now I can listen to some music and this, this album is truly a stunner of an album. Basically, Bork Nagar, if you look them up on Google, they come up there, the Google fit right as black metal. They started out as a pure, true black metal band. Did they? Did they? I don't know. I don't know the history. I'm not really here to give the history of it. I'm giving to you a, a review of this specific, I almost said Pacific, album. Look at that. There's the, there's the guys in the present lineup of the band. Mmm. Um, of course I got it on vinyl. One thing that was bad about the vinyl was uh, this one didn't come with uh, a CD uh, or a download code um, to be able to listen to it on digital formats so you could put it on the car and things like that. You know, it's a bit difficult to put a record deck on the, on the, on the dashboard of your car uh, when you're driving. It doesn't, doesn't tend to work that way, uh, which is a bit of a no-no these days for, a, for an album release, really. There's several labels out there that do that here and there with, uh, and I don't know if it's to do with the band saying no or if it's the labels, because sometimes you get the same label, I mean uh, Insomnium, got an Insomnium album from this uh, one there on Century Media as well, these guys are on Century Media, and um, that came with a CD, um, so I'm not sure why in this case, that's just not right that's the case. Um, second thing is, look at the, look at the name, what they are, right? Um, I never thought I would ever buy, own, like, love an album by a band who you can't actually read their name. It's not as bad as some, because you can read a couple of letters in there, but if you if you didn't know it was Bork Nagar, you go Bort Ah uh, I, I just Yeah. I never thought I'd do that. Ev throughout my life collecting music and listening to music, um if there's been a name and it's been like that, it's been like not gonna enjoy that. Not gonna enjoy that. So maybe I've missed out on a few where that are truly melodic, beautiful, epic, wonderful pieces of metal music. Um, I would say that's probably true. That's probably true. Because uh, after all, these are like that. Now, Bortnagar, I would say, yes, there's black metal element. Basically, the screech is the black metal element really that's left, truly. Um, they're a sort of hybrid of black metal, progressive metal, um, melodic death metal, if you want to include that. Just, you know, even maybe maybe folk, maybe Finnish folk styles or stuff. You know, the big tribal epic style, we're all standing on a mountaintop style music, that's all in here. Um, and pretty much every song is well worth a listen to. There are, of course, good ones and not so good ones. But I think the not so good ones on this album are really because of the reflection of the great ones that are on this album. They get a little bit squished by the Superbness of some of these songs. It kicks off with Thunderous. Thunderous is their best song on this album, as far as I'm concerned. Now, a caveat again, just to upset people, perhaps, or just to show what a weirdo I am. Um, after the thunder kicks in, then the music starts, and the vocals start at the same time. Music, vocals at the same time, I always feel off kilter when that happens. It's like, ah, ah, a lot of songs, it's like, it takes me a while to then get into the song. Some songs, I can't get into it, at least on a first listen, because, I don't know, music and vocals at the very same time shouldn't be a thing. It just always puts me off a little bit. It's just the way this weird brain works. Um, but Thunderous grabs you by the scruff of the neck immediately and takes you on a huge, epic powerhouse of a journey. Yes, there's black metal screeching in this, but there's no, in none of the songs is black metal screeching the dominant. There's black metal screeching and clean vocals. And in fact, clean vocals are the dominant in each song, even where there's a strong element of, 
of the black metal screech going on. Call it a screech and scream, whatever you want to call it. Um, personally, not a huge fan of it. Not a huge fan of uh, growls as well. But if they're in there uh, and they're not overwhelming and they're not taken away from the music for me, etc., I can live with it. I can put up with it. I can and the time, time, times, uh, at times, it seems actually quite good. But thunderous, like I say powers into your chest and thunderous is one of i would say four epic attempts in this album four epics there's uh five well four rockers in in their sense not in a normal sense they're all still epic in their way in, you know in the sound uh but uh, there's four epic whoa this is expansive proggy in many ways changes lots of things going on in them and then there are four more straightforward ones and there's also a fifth song which is and you know there are there power ballad type one, uh, which is pretty damn strong as well. They're all, all the songs are pretty damn strong. Um, if you pluck them out separately, they will stand up on their own. Within the album, though, they can get overshrouded by things like Thunderous. Thunderous just punches you in the face, followed by Up North, which I've done a uh, reaction to, uh, which hopefully will be linked on this video at the end. You can go, ooh, I'll click on that and see what it sounds like. Up North just feels like they're um, funneling through them a bit of Uriah Heep. It's like Uriah Heep goes metal. If you know anything about Uriah Heep, then uh, you can probably hear what I mean through some of the uh, passages on there. Um, if you don't, check out Uriah Heep. Um, you'll go, and they, when they start going with their little uh, keyboard swathes running, rumbling through, you'll go like, ooh, yeah, that's a bit similar. Um, in fact, I could say that several of the songs here, I'm going like, I can hear a bit of Pink Floyd. I can a bit hear a bit of Hawkwind style vocals. I can hear bits of these and bits of those. Some songs I'm going like, oh my god, that just sounds like somebody I bloody know, and I'm not sure which one it is. Um, so whether that's intentional, whether they have listened to all these bad, these sort of bands, I don't know. If they have listened to, you're right. I mean, I'd be surprised if they haven't. Way up north sounds. Um, if they just come to that organically, probably not. If they've not directly listened to you, right? Other influences they've had have probably had those, and they've took those and things. But you are heap of quite a well-known band, so I would think maybe they have. Um, but as I'm saying, nine songs on this album. Um, the best three are the first three. Thunderous, Up North, The Fire That Burns. Um, it, it's a good little tribal song. The Fire That Burns! It's just a stunning piece of epic metal music. Wonderful. Um, the songs that don't work as well, at least in context of the album, um, overall, on within the album, on their own, yeah. yeah. But what I'm getting there is Lights. Lights is a straight, more of their stride forward song. It's a pretty damn good song. But it's sandwiched between The Fire That Burns and Wild Father's Heart, which is the epic ballad. And it suffers a little bit by being squished between two freaking glorious songs um, so it's not really Light's fault it's where they put it I mean yeah it breaks up the, uh, the styles and stuff um, but uh, it does get diminished a little bit um, other than that the other songs Into the White is a great song um, Tidal is their final epic on the album not the final song but the final epic on the album um, it's one that I think wow in parts I'm I think it's glorious in other parts I'm thinking uh, not sure. It, I haven't got to grips with that yet. Title. It's. It's got something. I'm listening to it. Listen to it. Listen. It's like it still hasn't made me go. Ah, oh, but I feel like it should. It's one of those songs that you feel like this should be in in your mind and going yes. And for some reason it doesn't can't quite catch me. Um, but I know it will. I know it will. I'm going to fight every day. Uh, Mount Rapture is the other epic, uh, and it's their weakest epic. I think it just, it's basically takes the other ones and tries to do it again um, and doesn't quite succeed. It's a little bit, uh, uh, if you're going through an album skipping stuff and wherever, that's a song I would skip. Um, it's just sort of alright, really, in comparison to the other epics out there. If I'd heard it first, may, I'd have probably known, wow, this band is awesome. Then I would have heard the rest and that would have probably still drop down and drop down um, but maybe I would have loved it more uh, than I do now 
Uh, the album ends on Voices, wonderful chanty style song. Uh, I did a reaction to that one as well. Um, didn't think it was as great as Up North, and it's not. However, in context of the album, it's a stunningly superb album closer. It works perfectly. It is an album track. It's not really for outside of the album, I don't think. I, I think it was a pro promotional song as well, um, from what I remember. My memory's like, and I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if that should have, maybe Light should have been it, or uh, The Wild Father's Heart, maybe, I don't know. Uh, Voices, definitely an album song. It's something to listen to at the end of the album and go, whoa, let the epicness wash over you and calm you down after the stunner of an album that this is. This album would have been in my top 10, as I've already said, I think. Have I already said that? It's a, this is a rambling stream of consciousness, this review, as you can see. Oh look, I've just suddenly jumped, I think. Uh, when batteries attack, battery went boop. Um, I don't even know what I was saying now. As I think I was talking about my stream of consciousness. I'm a stream of consciousness kind of guy. I listen to something a few times and then talk about it a bit, uh, forget loads of stuff, add loads of stuff in and get to there. For me, music is an emotional thing. It's all about the enjoyment at the time. It's all about the resonance of the sounds. Um, it's not really about anything else. It's all about that. It's all about feeling. Feeling it there. And that's what I do on my reviews. I feel it there because this is a bloody stunning album. Um, such a shame I didn't get to listen to it beforehand. But hey, Christmas present and I got it on vinyl. I would have had it on CD otherwise. So what would I give Bork Nagar as a score? Because I gave Bandmade 8. So I've already set my bar really high for, you know, I've picked a couple of good albums. Bork Nagar is definitely 9.5 out of 10 for me. Nine and a half out of ten. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what do you think? Have you heard Bort Nagar? Do you like what you hear? Do you want to hear more? Do you want me to hear more? Probably, potentially. Um, and I will be, because um, I've uh, recently got the prequel to this. Yeah, well, the album that came before. Um, because I listened to uh, Winter Thrice. <laughs> oh, God. Such a good song, such a good song. Um, I don't know how far back I could go with these guys before it's all the black metal ah! type stuff, um, but uh, so far so damn good. Um, I will leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you enjoy all of my videos, which is highly unlikely, because uh, uh, I'm now really professional. <laughs> Once upon a time, I was terrible. <laughs> You're going, what? This is professional? Yeah, you want to see my early stuff, you'll be like, my God, he's gone from atrocious to terrible. Oh well, it's, it's a progression. So, I hope you like the video. Don't forget to click that like, don't forget to subscribe, share, suggest, comment, send me stuff if you want to. Um, or, you know, just ask me. Just say, hey, can we send you stuff? Um, just email me and I'll probably set something up for you if you've got bands out there you want me to review or whatever. Just let me know or uh, send me, uh, if, if you're a band and you've got like, um, Download stuff, download stuff. Word, you know, words fail me, you know, links and things or um, files. Just share them, send them over. I'll have a listen. Why not? Because um, I'm going to review a lot more stuff. Um, because it gives me an opportunity to listen to my my collection and to new stuff. And then talk about it rather than being uh, blocked all the time. Um, having to bounce around with uh, doing ten recordings and getting five of them through. But anyway, Bortnagar!